Adding and subtracting decimals. If you know how to add and subtract integers, then you can add and subtract decimals. Just follow these few steps. Step one, put the numbers in a vertical column aligning the decimal points. Then add or subtract each column of digits starting on the right and working to the left. Step three, place the decimal point in the answer directly below the decimal points that you lined up in step one. When adding or subtracting decimals, always remember to align the decimals vertically. So let's go ahead and add these numbers. 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 is 20. So I put a 0 here, carry the 2. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Put the 0, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. Then we drop the decimal down. So the answer to this addition problem is 2. All right, over here we have 1.1 minus 0.3. So we're actually going to 1 is less than 3, so we can't do that subtraction. So we're actually going to take away that 10 and put it here. So we end up with 11 minus 0.3. 11 minus 3 is 8, and then we just drop the decimal down. So 1.1 minus 0.3 is 0.8. Let's do this problem. The first step is to line them up vertically. So I'm just going to rewrite these underneath the 5.1. So point. 4, 1.99, and remember we can throw zeros in there as placeholders. All right, let's add. So we have 5 in, the, in this column here, we have 5 plus 4 plus 9, so that's 18. Put the 8 here, carry the 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, 4, 19, that's 13, carry the 1. We're going to drop that decimal down. Then we have 1 plus 5, 6, 7, 8. The answer is 8.38. Once again, don't forget you can always put a zero here as a placeholder for when you're lining up your digits. Let's do some practice problems. All right, I'm going to align these vertically. So I'm going to take this number here and put it right under the first number. Okay, and then I'm going to take this one, 0. 0.1189. So we need some placeholders here. We need there. So these are a column, and then there and there. Okay, now we can add. So that column is a 9. This column, 8 plus uh, 5 is 13. Put a 3, carry the 1. 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4. Drop down the decimal. 8 plus 4 is 12. So the answer is 12.4739. All right, let's line these up. So I'm going to put 12.280 and then 9.000. And we have a 0 here and a 0 there. All right, let's add them up. So here we have, in this column, we have an 8. Here we have 7 plus 8, which is 15. So I'll put the 5, carry the 1, 2, 3, 4. Then we drop down the decimal. 3 plus 2 plus 9, so we have 5 plus 9 is 14. Carry the 1 and 2. The answer is 24.458. All right, next we have 2.965. And 8.4. I'm going to throw some extra zeros in there, here and here, here and here. All right, let's add. So in this column, we have 9 plus 5 is 14, carry the 1. 1 plus 6 is 7. 9 plus 4 is 13, carry the 1. Don't forget to drop that decimal point. 8, 9, 10 plus 8 is 18, and then 2. The answer is 28.374. All right, last one. Let's take this number, put it down here. All right, actually, I'm going to take this number and put it down here just because it's the shortest one. 9990. Nine, nine. And then this one can go under here. 5656. Five, All right. Let's add. 7 plus 6 is 13. So we carry the 1. 7 plus 9 is 16, plus 5 is 21, carry the 2. 7 
plus 9 is 16, plus 6 is 22, carry the 2. 2 plus 1 is 3, so 12, 17, carry the 1, drop down that decimal point. Then we have 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 4 is 8, plus 9 is 17. The answer is 17.7213. And there you have it, all of the solutions. Now let's do some subtraction problems. So I'm going to put this number underneath this one, and we're going to subtract. So 1, 1, 8, 9. Actually, I'm going to move this down and rewrite the top number so that I have room to write above. So 8.2300. Because I'm going to have to be borrowing some numbers here. All right. 0 minus 9. Well, can't do that. Can't borrow from here either. So we're going to borrow 10 from here. Make that a 2. Make this a 1. Then we're going to borrow 1 from there. So make that a 9. Make that a 10. So 10 minus 9 is 1. 9 minus 8 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. Point 8. 8.1111. So remember, when you're doing subtraction like this, you're going to have to put those zeros in as placeholders. All right, let's move on to the next one. 12.283 minus 9.025. All right, so 3 minus 5. Well, 3 is smaller than 5, so we're going to borrow 10 from this column. Make that a 7. Add that 1 here. 13 minus 5 is 8. 7 minus 2 is 5. 2 minus 0 is 2. Bring down the decimal, 12 minus 9 is 3. The answer is 3.258. All right, 17.009 minus 8.4. Now I can put zeros in here if I want to. All right, 9 minus 0 is 9. 0 minus 0 is 0. Now we have 0 minus 4, so we're going to have to borrow 10 from here. Make that a 6, we get the 1 there. 10 minus 4 is 6. Then we drop down the decimal, 16 minus 8 is 8, 8.609. 9.999 minus 4.5656. So we have one extra digit here, so we need the zero there. All right, zero minus six, we have to borrow 10 from this column. That becomes an eight and a 10. So 10 minus six is four, eight minus five is three, 9 minus 6 is 3, 9 minus 5 is 4, drop down the decimal, 9 minus 4 is 5. The answer is 5.4334. And there you have it, all of the solutions.